Hello guys, welcome back to Always Babel Canada's YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to transfer the data from Galaxy Z Fold 3 to the new Galaxy Z, Z Fold 5. So I'm going to teach you how to transfer it the easiest way. So, but first we are going to open this Galaxy Z Fold 5. Let's open it now. Let's see what's in the box. So in here is the SIM card ejector tools and then the USB-C to USB-C cable which we are going to need this later. And then the cell phone itself. So anyway guys, this Galaxy Z Fold 5, I purchased the one terabyte storage. So now we are going to turn this on. Let's push the power here. There. There. Same size, right? Okay, so welcome. So it still ha it has a 71% battery. So let's start. And then we are going to click this end user agreement, privacy. Well, this is optional, the sending of diagnostic and then agree. And then we are going to choose the We enter like this now. Connect to a mobile network. Insert SIM card. We are going to get this. We are going to transfer the SIM card there. going to insert it here we have to insert it carefully there sim card detected restart your phone to start using new sim card okay we are going to restart the phone now now it's restarting okay now we are going to start it says welcome here start and then we are going to click the end user agreement and then agree this is set up with another device so galaxy or android device iphone or ipad so we are going to click this galaxy or android so scan this QR code with your old phone tablets. So, so we are going to scan there. Okay, now it's connecting. Continue on your old I iPad. Okay, verify it's you. So use pin or fingerprint. Yeah, continue set up on your device. Keep both on your on and close to each other until setup is complete okay so it should be close to each other so it says a new device just sent in to your samsung we click yes and then copy data from android to your device you can choose to copy ads photos and contacts and more your apps will be installed after setup okay so we click next if you want to 
copy it get started with smart switch so we start with we use the smart switch app to copy your apps and data from your old device okay smart switch uses these permissions okay microphone calendar call logs contacts nearby devices notification photos and videos sms and special sensitive required permission so we allow so so transfer wirelessly use cable so guys if you prefer the cable it's much faster to use the cable than the wireless okay so we use the cable so we insert this and then we insert it here there so we are now it's not now connecting always open smart switch when just z fold 5 is connected okay okay now transfer your data back up and restore your data okay so continue so smart switch uses this permission we allow now transfer data so connect the galaxy z fold 5 so searching for data transfer so it says select data transfer so it's 215.24 gigabyte so one hour and 41 minutes so i want everything so we click next and then select all me select messages to transfer i want it all transfer okay and then we okay back up your messaging app data okay yes transferring so it says your top to learn more about each service such as how to turn it on or off later data will be used according to the backup and storage use basic backup so location allow scanning send usage and diagnostic data device maintenance no i don't want that okay so accept so fingerprint continue secure screen lock first so we are going to enter this first okay we place the okay and then next okay access your hey google Ac assistant so i like this one here agree access your assistant without unlocking your device Al allow assistant on lock screen allow assistant to respond when your device is locked for personal action yes i will allow it i agree so getting your phone ready okay so the samsung wallet so continuity service customization nearby that's yeah so taking care of your phone pressing the screen or under display camera with a sh hard or sharp object such as pen or finger nail may cause damage such as scratches or dent only use a samsung s pen designed for the galaxy z fold galaxy fold other s pen or styluses will damage the screen when you fold your the phone make sure there's nothing inside such as card keys coins or an s pen this phone isn't dust resistant exposure to small particles such as sand may cause damage this, this one is water resistant ipx8 
immersion in any liquid other than fresh water such as salt or alcohol can damage your phone so only a fresh water don't remove the protective film on the main screen or apply other films or stickers as doing so can damage your screen your phone contains magnet keep it away from credit card and devices that may be affected by magnets and at least 15 centimeter away from implantable med medical devices if you suspect any interference with an implanted medical device stop using your phone and consult a medical professional or the medical device manufacturer so you have to uh, read it all so okay you see what's in here will be exactly what will be in the new device So now guys, it's done transferring. That's how easy it is to transfer. Depends on how much data you are transferring from here to here, from the old one to the new one. So after transferring it, so it says here done. So as you can see, uh, it looks all the same, right? Right there right there right there but af na eh, after transferring it you are not uh, logged in yet to your let's say to your email you have to enter your email or if you are doing some online banking you have to enter all the your password and everything so that's the quickest way to transfer the data the original settings from your old phone to your new phone so if you have any questions just uh, comment down below and i will answer your questions so thank you guys for watching please subscribe on this channel hit the like button if you like this video and the notification bell so that you will always be notified every time we upload our latest video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.